G'day viewers. Kenny here back on low note. I'll be um just running around doing some work. I like gals. Yeah, I can't compact me um my pit. My silage pit, so I might have to what I might have to do with that is I might have to get uh one of the trucks and that this park next to it and then um just Load into that and then put it, sell it through the bail point because it's just not compacting. So we're just going to have to sell it off another way. Not that I need to sell it off, of course. <coughs> now, hopefully, it'll take care of this bit of crop at the end here. on it. Please. Lower. I'll have a go again. So I'm starting to rip the strip farming up, farm strip farming back back up again a bit along here. We're going to start working back up the hill. Uh, we've got a um, header up there with the truck and that actually at the moment getting the corn off. Watch it on the strain a bit, I think. Yeah, getting the corn lid off up there. So by the time we get up there, we'll have this all ripped under. Then we can come through and plant it out. I do have a case map of this, which I'm going to have to put on public, uh, because I've been trying to get it to have some playtime, but I'm, I'm just doing it myself, so I'm just going to have to put it on public, and it's a multiplayer map, and basically it's got just everything case on it, there's only one DLC, which is... Um, uh, no, it's not even DLC, it's the Horch Pack. That's it. E turn. Long distance drive on this one. Lower. Let's go. Lower, Noah. Yeah, it's just, just running the plow, ripping it up. Um, over yonder we've got the cedar to start doing some strip farming over there. Um, which I should run off and do that in a sec. But yeah, I saw this, um, the new Westbridge, um, like barns and that coming out, red barns at the house and that sort of thing. The, um, just the um, decorative pieces and I thought it was the one that uh, the guy did on I can't remember what body he the guy is but he did a, um, a whole heap of um, barns, houses and that sort of thing for Ravenport on PC and um, when I first saw that I think I'm not even sure who was who had that on their channel um, their news channel saying that it's up and coming or whatever it is um, what's going on here? Obviously when I push the button before I lift it and to engage it, I engage the the worker. Because as you can see, there's a worker doing that, not me. Just don't cut into the green too much, Mr. Worker. Here they are a bit. I'll have to stop them there and reverse back a bit. Bring it back to the line, I reckon. There we go, engage. I've engaged them back to the 
there so it'll run the line so I'm not cutting too much into the um, grass paddock but this strip farming I put it in when I first started this deer farm uh, low notes with deer, uh, John Deer I put it in there for a reason um, to show everybody what a strip farm is all about now where the worms and everything can retreat to the um, grass while the rest of the ground is bare um, I forgot to put manure down here before I ripped it but hey it happens man and we've got a whole heap of um, drought well the red brahmin which uh, drought master basically I'm saying I'm calling drought master so um yeah we've got one pen there we've got a couple of feed lots over the back there one of each of the new ones when they come out and I'm so pleased about them because they're sort of like open paddock um, feed lotting type thing may just inch it up please grazie grazie right now we'll take that off of there is it going to raise up yeah, it's raised up so I'll bring over here and start them on their little journey again um, yeah so yeah I put one of each over here um, we'll just make sure they go the right way at the bottom and then they've got a bit to do so we'll go around and we'll have a look at what's going on I'll start the seed drop over the under um, but yeah uh, basically what I, I did on the case one that I want I blended the two paddocks like the one over there that, which is a normal wheat paddock when you first get it this one here I've sold the one across the road there that light green one or the darker area of the two greens um, sold 32 I think it is um, and brought the one in front of the shed there which is 33 I think something like that because it's a bit strange that I brought on your farm itself but you don't have that paddock so I sold that one across the road to buy the one across this side and I got 28 up the end and I joined those two together and joined these two together right here um, to make the paddock but then that was the one I had the case one I had originally but then the second one I did, I did, um, I just made it planar map, just case, all case gear, and that's it. Just so um, if somebody wants to join on and start joining, um, like playing multiplayer, because I will be recording the multiplayer. Um, so that's something they'll have to be told straight away that they will be recorded and put on YouTube as a multiplayer. And if they wish to continue on, we've uh, played other games with you that they could. Um, you know just send me a um, uh, friends list uh, join a friends list I mean and we can hook up and play other stuff as well other farms Red Dead Redemption um, you know that sort of thing um, some some GDA and I don't like playing um, a full on story mode uh, like thing at the moment so I just do like my online players with my bike club that sort of thing to do some street meets that sort of thing some gang wars with um with the loss and that we ride around the bikes cars do some racing that kind of thing that we should do what am i doing i'm still sitting here aren't i i know what they're going to do and that's turn around right now castle the castle yeah so on the multiplayer one i've joined those two paddocks together we've got a mixed variety of uh, drought master and a couple of normal brahmin in here um let's see one feed lot one the other the other feed lot when these come out um the, the ring in the middle of the paddock excellent i'd like to see that in a massive paddock like with some um and the wire it come out at the same time actually and the Joskin like pointy thing but these are the two little paddock feedlot paddocks that come out so that was really cool it's just water and feed that's it water and feed you don't have to store put straw or anything in there because it's got all ground you don't have to do manure or anything because it goes straight into the grass and makes it really good for the worms a little storage shed on this one now um, yeah basically 
I brought, I think I brought these two paddocks at the back as well. That one and that, yeah, that one there I planted, that one there about um, cut up already. And this grass one here, I want to keep as grass for the cattle. See, the pit itself won't let me, it's 47, it says 47% won't let me do any more. Unless I have to fill it right to the end right here which sucks because I haven't got any more corn unless I do this stuff up here where where this truck's probably waiting to be unloaded oh, there you go right it's doing its job I'll go into this guy he's doing cotton so I'll start him off then I'll go over to nope not you, I want the truck I want the Sammy yeah as you can see like this is just a uh, straight up B-double No vented dangle road trains or anything. Um, no crop destruction. Or if there is, who cares? Obviously, second bin. Oops. Oopsie. Bad driver. Let's wizard around and go back again. Pretty sure this is the one that doesn't dig up the ground. I can only do. I'll find out in any second now, eh? I'm pretty sure it's the, just the one that um, runs. No, I was wrong. Maybe it's the one that creates its own paddock. Um, oh, it must be the other one that doesn't do it. There's one that you can create fields, like this one. Um, doesn't need any cultivation. Obviously it's this one. And there's another one, which could be that one just sitting right there. That, um, no, it's got tree tent. No, that's the one there. That's the one right there. So this one creates its fields. So I'll stop that in a minute and take it off of this area. And I might put it over yonder because I've got to make some paddocks over there, so that's what I'll do yet. Um, and I'll put this other one that's there um, on here. Because it won't cut into the grass, it will only, it'll only uh, put seed down where it's actually harrow. Where it's already been um, cultivated. So we'll go like this, drive it down the road. Oh yes, we're on the road. Even though it's our roads. Right now we don't want a Turn that off. Turn that off. Just leave it like that. I'll just quickly check what's going on here. Trucks in the way. Get it out of the way because we can see it at the moment that's starting to do its last run down there. Park that up. Jump across to it quickly. There we go. It's on its last run. Then we have to put it over the other side because it creates. Inch it up.
takes a bit of time to put all this infrastructure and that in originally but once it's in like now um, yeah it's just a matter of just coming through and just relaying it again um, something for you to do you actually have to do it yourself in this case I'm using the AI in between um, the runs but yeah normally you have to do it yourself so it wouldn't won't cut into the grass But this is the, um, I'll zoom back in here, this is the yellow version of the, um, uh, the case um, dish harrow, disc harrow, and they've got a, um, a, uh, um, a deep soiler, what do you call it, subsoiler at the moment, a case one, in two different lengths have just come out, so we'll be using that for our plough basically. Uh, there is a other subsoiler that I've got there that I will be keeping. Um, which I rip, uh, rip everything up first to, to plough it with those and then um, I'll get this little fella to come through after I might lay manure in between time and then come through and rip it with this now the tractor itself, I'm pretty sure this is a I'll try to, yeah, it's going to turn around all right uh, 62 No, it's the, it's the big one. See what I've done is I put a front um, connector on the um, what is that? Six one M. Uh, uh, that is the M. It's not the R. It's the M. Um, so I put the front attached on it. So, oops, sorry, mate. Keep going. Yeah, so you can do mowing and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I like these little tractors. They're, they're convenient. What are you doing? Convenient. I was going to go pull it across the other one. Leave it there for now. See, this is a 7R, I think it is. 8. Probably just had it down the bottom there, didn't it? When I first clicked onto it. So I'll go and grab this one and see if I can't run the. Because I'm pretty sure I can only see two. Uh, like direct seed, not fertilizer on here. If you look at the. Yeah, see that? That's direct seed, not fertilizer. And it's a, 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 lot, a larger whip, which is a good thing as well. Um, sort of, if you've got full paddocks, man, you can just run it up, up and down the paddock and pop your uncle, you know. set on cotton well yeah so I had it all set up ready to go it's just that I didn't employ it for some reason so we'll just open it up for now we lower it down and just do this last little bit here and then we'll go on to the next row Yeah, a lot of dust and everything, but it doesn't lift it up. Alright. Lift. Thank you. Up to the top. Yeah, it's, uh, it's started to... Like, I think the other day oh, I should downsize on tractors, because... There's only a couple of um, paddocks at a time that I'll be doing, you know what I mean? I'll bring it out to about here. Because she's a bit wider. Oh, I hold it right up. I put it on a worker straight off the bat. see that it didn't rip the first bit of it um, that's because it's just a direct seed it hasn't got any fertilizer in it you see that dark strip over there that's got fertilizers mixed in as well so we'll just put this down then we'll come through and fertilize it so 
so it's only got these two big strips to do and then we've got to fix that paddock over there strip farm it and there we go um let's pull it here floor turn on Oh, where's that one gone? Oh no! That's now ripping the grass, quick! Stop it! Oh, it is ripping some of the grass. <laughs> Dang! It happens, man, you know. It happens. Right, we'll just get on it online, so we'll start ripping there. And then we'll jump out of it and run across to there. Combine, which is still running. Oh, what's that, kids? Don't do this at kids. Quickly run this bit. And we will have to keep an eye on that one, so we'll have to go put this guy straight on up here. If I lift it, it might go quicker. If we turn it up, it'll go even quicker. But just got to get this guy on it. He's he's on, sort of. There we go. Make sure it goes the right way. Get a little twist back that way and then this way, yep. Yeah, we just have to keep an eye on this one. Well, now we know it's on track, we'll go back and have a look at what this guy is doing. Get out the crop. That's a nice crop, actually. Yeah. Looking good. You see, he's doing double the width here, but it's only going to cut up. It's only going to um, seed the area that's um, harrowed, as you can see. So this is the one to use after you've put down the infrastructure. That's the infrastructure one over there with the one with, this, um, with the fertilizer on it as well. It's 18 meter, I think. This is 20, 24, I think. Or this is 28. I can't remember. But anyway, this is this is the bigger one. Uh, and you know, like you can see down here, it stopped near the shed and that, and turned around and come back. So, um, you know, yeah, if um, but all that rubble and stuff went there, and those um, bits of farm junk, it would have that would be a complete run through there. But it's, you know, I was going to try that broom that you got, but it gets rid of um, gets rid of things like the map or whatever. And I thought maybe uh, maybe I can um, chuck it on there and. And just get rid of uh, all the bits and pieces there. Because then on PC you can just like, um, you got a map maker type thing. You can go on there and delete them, like move them off of there. I don't like junk. Especially when they brought out a mod so you can put your own junk on there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this is the way this map was built. Um, like Bill, Bill made it in the first place, but it's to it's to show that the farm's been around for a while, and, and you, you know you end up with crud. Uh, lower. I'll just whip this around. Yeah, 
here so I do want to get cotton and that actually happening on this now I won't worry about that little tiny strip there that I just missed because it's not that important we'll try to get straight though I'll get this corner come back around and get this bit here oh, miss a bit in the middle of the crop it might be a problem <laughs> now lift that pan that off Race down the end. Quickly line this up so we can start heading back the way while I go and check the other thing. They just arrow. Bit of lone oak, you know, um, when I started the deer farm I wanted to make it basically my own map, like I do with the majority of the maps. Um, because 19 allows you to do so. 17 I had um, some other stuff like West Coast and that I was going to play on there but I decided I'm not going to play that, all that now. I might drop one in every now and then just to give everybody a look at how good the maps are especially from these map makers David, uh, Oxford and David and Bullet Bill and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, they, they make some bloody good maps. Um, Oxygen Deep has got another map out at the moment. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called. Because it's still in testing and everything, so I'm not getting too excited over it. But when it comes out, I'll be taking that. I've got uh, Ophel Farm, of course, uh, that I play on the side. Couldn't help myself. I had it 17, I couldn't help myself. I had to have it 19 again. I was having heebie jeebies. So, anyway. We'll get out of this one. We'll whiz over yonder. We'll go past you for a sec, truck. We'll come back in a sec. I'm going to find this one first. Ah, you got him cornered. Good. And he's ripping the bloody grass again. And I'll let him do it. Okay, I'll jump out of this one. So I'll jump out the tractor. We'll quickly jump in the truck on the opposite side because he'll be stopping the sex or whiz him out the way and he'll rip a bit more of that grass which is not too cool but we've got a whole paddock of grass down the back and we'll just pull him up here kind of let it roll now we'll run across here fast and we'll jump in this thing See that? Don't do that at home. Go under that bloody wheel, kids. You'll be squished. So we'll stop him. Go down the embankment. Turn around. I'm losing a bit of um, hay making capability here. That uh, like grass and that sort of thing but it doesn't matter after this uh, lot of cotton's gone through I'm going to rip the whole lot everything and then redo it again redo it again with the strip farming as well like get rid of all the grass now as well one complete paddock will be ripped and then I'll, um, I'll do it again So as you can see that back paddock there that was a um, complete paddock uh, it still is a complete paddock with a second crop has got in there um, and 28 up the top where the other cedars just sitting there waiting to strip farmer that was a complete paddock so that's why I said after this crop doesn't matter I'm going to rip this and, and the other one um, oh the one in the middle sorry the cotton one that's going to be ripped near the cow pens that's going to be completely ripped open this one here I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here yet 
because it, it was corn so I might change it up to a different crop um, like a cereal type crop and then once it does that it does run through with that I'll, um, or I might just put cotton in here as well we don't really need cotton bales because we've got 3 million bucks there so if we had less money we, you know I'd be putting in cotton and that sort of thing it's going to pay more right so I've got a little bit of time to run up here and grab the truck before I have to jump back in it again it's at the other end See a little chaff and that there from the corn is a ladder place there. Gives a good underlay coverage for the worms in it as well. Keeps most of the um, sun on that out. Probably have to go down with this one. Yeah. I'm watching one on the way back, adjusting. Move over a bit. And as I was saying to me, oh, you should get the the DLC to get the nine R and the quad track one. I was thinking about it, but this is the only farm I'd really use it on. The Walker Farm maps I've got that I've changed from my maps. Um, at first, I had challenges on them, and I got rid of that map and put the put the Walker tractors back on it. Um, yeah, and, and like a challenger and a um, and one of the um, class uh, dual wheel one, you know, the, the um, articulated one. But see, that's the thing, you know, like a big map, it's a big map, you need big tractors. And so, um, well, one of the maps, one of the maps I did there, I actually, um, whoop, didn't even start that. I was pushing a button and it wouldn't stop. It's getting carried away. Yeah, like I said, uh, um, I put uh, sugar cane actually on one of the maps. Complete that backpack number two. Completely in sugar cane. You know how long that took? <laughs> All day, real time. <laughs> and then partly the next day, uh, like during the night as well. <laughs> From 7 o'clock in the morning onwards until like afternoon. Had to drop, go, go get the kids and that. And then I um, did some that night to complete it. <laughs> it's all in there with just those double row and a single row that's all I had going but I got it totally sugar caned and if it wasn't for taking so bloody long if we had a another cedar that can like drop it down like a cedar that can actually deliver the cane like I have a cheat in it so a mod in it or something that it can put that down as well then I'd be putting in sugar cane left right and center like I'd, I'd buy all these paddocks up and it'd be corn and sugar cane cane and cane and corn basically <coughs> <coughs> excuse me so we'll just have to salvage this guy 
I might make that grass strip a little bit smaller. Because when I do come through with the, um, yeah, I might do that a little bit. I might actually do it a bit smaller to start off with. Because when I come through with the actual, um, uh, the uh, windrow, I have to run into the crop a bit to to get it to pull it all out of it, if you know what I mean. <coughs> yeah, so if you take a little bit off, it doesn't matter. Hey, truck. What's that big? But as you can see, if it was multiplayer, there'd be a few jobs for a few people. Now I've got all the growing season to happen again, so I'm going to wait for this crop to grow. <coughs> so I'll put them in, and then, um, and then we'll get this lot growing. The other one's growing there already. I might buy a a paddock. A field, a um, meadow, whatever you want to call it. Meadow's got grass in it, hasn't it? Yeah, um, like a field up the back there, see how it's got all grain and that. I might just buy one of those and then resell it again straight after we harvest it. Just to give it content, because I, I don't have... I don't have um, days of a... You know, like on a... Um, I don't put days in that are quick. You know what I mean? Like my days are um, uh, 24 days, so that's eight days per season. If you got seasons, that is. This 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 hasn't got seasons on it. But my um my seasons map, um, I don't like putting like shallow days in or small days in. Always go with um, 24 days, close to a month. Um, really so now I've got eight days for the first um, like early spring and then mid spring I've got eight days and late spring I've got eight days so basically um, that's how I want to set it up I like to put seasons on this a bit later and go oh, hang on, and go from there with the whole season thing I think basically what I did with these, um, I'm, I'm not sure if this is one or not. Let's see. That's, that's a single. A 560, I think it is. 590, 560. Um, if you go inside a cab like that, you push it again and you go onto the, the, um, the chute, the uh, pipe the auger when you and the camera's on the auger so you can watch it load the truck or you just push it again the third time and it goes underneath so you can see when you're hooking up when you're towing in that towing your head in that so I like that I like that a lot so this guy will be on his uh, way back again in a sec then we'll have to run this truck up grab the grain out of here, we'll start running this back down the house because um, he's going to make that truck any second when he goes back down I'll try to grab that bit just there, you know, it says yeah, it's not your land uh, I'd like to get rid of it looks messy Right, so close it off. I'm gonna race him down the line. Okay, that's good, good enough. Go across the truck. 
Hey, you wish to continue on. Just wants to do that last little bit. There you go, mate. Whoops, neighbor's crop. Yeah, I love the lime, lime green of the class. It's top stuff. So anyway, you get the gist of it all. Um, we'll be running this stuff down, down the road. Taking it to the farm. Turn it off, and we'll have a quick look at around. Um, that's the implements. That's him doing that now. He's the last bit. He's got. That's the last bit. This guy's got until we have to cut the other side in. So I'm gonna say uru to everybody. See you later. And next time we come back, we'll be um, planted that one out. I might even speed up time just a bit, which I don't like doing, but. We've got to go feed the cows and that anyway, so we'll do that probably first thing next time and show you the progress. Alright? So goodbye everybody and have fun and catch you on the flip side. Uru. When I push the button.